I was reminded the other day of a story that I had nearly forgotten. The tale of the god Indra and his battle against the mighty serpent, Vitra. The Vitra had taken all of the rivers of the world hostage, causing a global drought. Only by destroying the 99 fortresses of the Vitra and slaying the beast itself was Indra able to liberate the waters. The priests would call me sacrilegious, but to me, this tale has a hidden meaning. I am facing a Vitra of my own, and that monster is the great lie that I have lived until this day. The 99 fortresses are the little lies that are still burrowed into my soul. My irrational fear of corruption, my distaste for violence, and that misplaced care for the so-called innocent. Only when I destroy these inner fortresses can I unleash the greatness within me and become a ruler whose name will live on for millennia. To do so, I must look beyond our traditional enemies. Far to the northeast lies the land of Bengal. It is here, where the sacred Ganges meets the ocean, that I will achieve my greatest triumph yet. I have announced a march on the Bala Empire that rules Bengal. General Arayan has already left at the head of a large vanguard. Together, we will bring holy water from the Ganges back to Cholalands, so that the gods may bless our realm. And if I can defeat one of the greatest empires in the known world in the process, then all the better. The journey ahead of us will be long and arduous. But take heart, men. Once the Bengali Emperor lies dead in the field, you will all drink from the sacred river Ganges. We are running low on provisions for our soldiers, Emperor. Might I suggest a quick romp through the countryside for a bit of pillaging? There is a excellent food stores at this time of year. I hear rumors of a vast Do you truly believe that your army of fledglings can go to the tomb of my the kingdom of Kalinga is the first obstacle in our path. Many of their souls are spread out across the country. So the city should be Linga is out. Rest in Bandija before we continue our march. It appears that King Indrarata fled as soon as he saw our forces on the horizon. from behind. If we can we can crush what little remains of the resistance. I hear that you have captured the Linga, Regina. I too stepped on an ant this morning, you know. You do not hear me bragging about it. The resources has arrived from Tanjavur. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. Kill the people in the other village over here. They have more food than we do. Munir. Sir, in the village, the people are going to be killed. Sir, Munir. 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 Sir, Munir.
words to have any meaning they must be acted upon a brave death does not undo a life of cowardice sena kattalai gul sitta enna kattalai உங்களை <laughs> 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 walls and dense forests are formidable defenses perhaps we can find an easier way inside sir enna kattalai ungal sidiye paindu munnel enna kattalai aindu taaku appadi aidathai edu ungal sittam enna kattalai ungal sittam enna kattalai ஆயுதத்தை <laughs> என்ன கட்டளை 
The wood in these machines was rotted through. I am surprised that they survived this long. Utkara is ours. You cannot stay here for long. Reinforce our army and let us face the Bengali Emperor in battle. A ship filled with resources has arrived from Punjabur. Make sure that it reaches our army at scale. Some weeks ago, bandits stole a relic from our monastery. We ask that you return it to us. In a cutlery, in a cutlery, in a cutlery, in What is it with these monks and not being able to keep track of their holy artifacts? Ah, well. As long as they reward us for our trouble. <laughs> It is good to see you again, Rajendra. Now, Mahipala has arrayed his army on the battlefield and prepares to attack. My men and I have scouted the land thoroughly, however. So we will not have to fight blindly. We must hurry to secure our position. Prepare for battle. When this day is over, we will wash up the blood of our enemies in the sacred waters of the dungeon. We humbly thank you for your help, Emperor Rajendra. You may have your pick from our supply stores. A ship filled with resources has arrived from Punjab. Make sure that it reaches our army unscathed. I once mourned the killing of innocents. But I must remember that these peasants are not truly innocent. In their weakness, they allow themselves to be used by an enemy king. They are as complicit in the slaying of my soldiers as he is. Give me a 
My dynasty learned not to embark on extravagant campaigns like the Now we Send forth the Rattans! Resources has arrived from Punjabi. Make sure that it reaches our army and soon. Frightened by a tiger's roar. Victory is ours. Despite suffering humiliation at my hands, Mahipala refuses to bend the knee. He retreats and leaves Eastern Bengal open for raids. 
and in doing so, he saves his dynasty from annihilation. A part of me admires his staunch resistance, but that is a part of me which must die. There can be no admiration for one's enemies, no respect for those who refuse to accept their place in the world that I am creating. For now, I will leave Mahipala to pick up the pieces of his broken pride. Another, even greater predator has drawn my eye. Datum, 